Hi, so I wanted to make a video here pointing out what is the major design flaw of these uh, pool pump motors, specifically is the flavor that you'll see on the Hayward Super Pumps, one of the most common out there. Um, and what the problem is that the Achilles heel that really kills these things. So, Century, which was, which has taken over A.O. Smith, used to make their motors in the United States, now they've all gone off to China, which is part of the reason why it's not really worth it to pull these apart, put new windings in them, sandblast them, repaint them, that good stuff. Um, it's, you know, runs up right about the same cost of just getting a new motor. The cooling system over here intakes air through the front and exhausts it out the back. They always leak from the mechanical seal here at the front. The mechanical seal does have to be changed over the course of the life of the pump. It's just a thing that happens. It's a little ceramic and graphite um, thing that you may have seen if you've ever changed your seal. But most people don't actually like to maintain their things. They just leave it and pretend that everything's okay, even though you can hear the pump roaring and squealing because the bearings have gone out. And that's what causes the overheating. Now, why do the bearings go out? Well, because water and moisture gets in there and rusts them and rots them out. You can see along the mechanical, or rather along the shaft here, where the mechanical seal sits, they've added these prophylactics here. There's one here and one behind it, and that's kind of to keep water from wicking along the shaft and getting into the bearing race. But that's going to do sweet fuck all, because you have this fan here that's pulling in air. So if it doesn't pull in the water droplets in their entirety, it's still going to pull in all the moisture and humidity, and it's going to rot out that bearing. There's one here and one in the back. Generally, it's the first one that goes, <clears throat> and then the other one follows shortly after, and you start to hear it. You can hear that the motor is it's not working right, because the bearings have gone out, and the, the heat is not being dissipated. So the whole stator overheats, and the epoxy coating on those windings will melt and crisp right off, and then it'll cause a short, and then it'll start setting the breaker shortly after you run it for a while, and it starts um, drawing too much current. So, if you have a salt water pool, <laughs> all of your equipment is going to rot fairly quickly. Um, it's just a thing that happens when you have salt water. You can try and mitigate that by bonding everything with um, bare copper wire to mitigate dissimilar charges against uh, metal components of the pool. But the salt water is just very nasty and corrosive and it'll destroy everything in its path. It's one of the biggest scams out there in the swimming pool industry so just stay stay away from salt water in, in my opinion anyways so pool pumps spa pumps just about any um, electric water pump is going to have this problem that features this design of pulling in air from the front where the wet end is and passing it through the slots in the stator to cool the windings and exhausting it out the back it's just no fucking good at all and it uh, it's a design that shouldn't be used Anyways, that being said, if you have any questions, feel free to let me know.